in Adobe Rebel Help, when we build a Microsoft HTML Help, a chum file, I'm going to double click it and do save and generate here. And it will be done shortly. I'll view the result. And there's the chum. So as you can see, I've got a link here that says going to show. Um, basically, this link is going to point to something over in this book, this word test. So when I click it, bingo, this topic opens up. And you'll notice that the word test book opens and reveals the topic. That's happening because of the auto synchronization. Now here's where you turn that on. Basically, you want to look at the output setup pod. Look at the windows. You can see Microsoft HTML help is the only window that doesn't have a little globe in the middle. If I double click that, right here is the auto synchronize. So that part's working. There's another feature of Microsoft HTML help files and it's accessed over here. When I edit the recipe, there's a advanced settings and an edit button. In this advanced settings dialog, there's TOC styles. And we can turn on or enable always show selection. What you saw before was the selection in the TOC was not highlighted. And if you wanted uh, all other books to collapse and only the book you're interested in or where the topic lives to expand, you would want to enable this option here, single click open books. Let's enable that. I'll click OK. Save and generate. And let's view the result. So now if I click the, the link, notice the first topic, the, the book there collapses. We're synchronizing. We see the highlight now. But as that next book, that's what that single click causes, is those books to collapse. Now, you may have occasions where you would want to have more than one book open, and it's kind of a trade-off here. If you need the ability for multiple books to remain open, here's what you do. Edit the properties. Go back to the Edit button here, TOC Styles. And you need to enable the plus-minus squares to the left of the book. Now, notice it's disabled because in their infinite wisdom, the programmers thought, oh, well, you would never want that unless you first enable lines from root. Now that I've done that, I click OK. I save and generate. And now the resulting chum has little expand collapse icons. So if I click the link and the first topic book collapsed and I needed to see it, I could click the little plus symbol to open it back up. But that's how the little collapsing and expanding works. So hopefully that helps you out. Thank you for watching.